Today, we'll be looking at 40 pairs of barefoot shoes across 13 brands in under 10 minutes. Let's go. First up are Vivo Barefoot, the celebs in the barefoot shoe space right now. They have a lineup of awesome looking models that all perform well. There's a pair for every occasion. We've tested nearly 20 to date and none of them disappointed. Vivos are great for running, gym and casual formal wear. Their soles provide a good amount of ground feel even with their patented puncture resistant membrane in the middle and the toe boxes are generally wide enough for most feet. My personal favorites are the Men's Gobi 2 for semi-formal wear, Primus Knit for casual everyday wear and Primus FGs for exercising outdoors. But the women on our team like the Geo Racers best. You can find our extensive review of Viva Barefoot Shoes linked below in the description. Now on to Zero Shoes. They also have a wide range to choose from, many of which are pretty reasonably priced too. We did a dedicated review of Zero Shoes in a previous video, which you can check out through the links in the description. But a few new pairs are worth mentioning. The new Aqua X Sport is one of the most lightweight outdoor fitness shoes I've ever tested. At just 200 grams without the optional inner, the Aqua X Sport is 35% lighter than the Viva Barefoot Trail FG, a shoe that is in the same utility class. Zero's new Barefoot CrossFit shoe is also exciting and might deserve a dedicated video in which we'd put them against the more traditional CrossFit shoes. Let us know in the description if that's a review you'd like to see. Overall, Zero shoes are solid, hard-wearing barefoot shoes at a reasonable price. But if I had to really try and critique them, I would say that they could widen their toe boxes a little more, as they are on the narrower end of the barefoot shoe spectrum, unlike the next brand on our list, Lems. The founder of this company started Lems in 2008 in response to being unable to find shoes that fitted the natural shape of the forefoot. This is why all Lem shoes have foot-shaped toe boxes that are among the roomiest in this review. But not all of their models have ultra-thin and zero-drop barefoot style soles, so carefully select the correct model if you're after a barefoot shoe. One possibility is the Primals, their fitness shoe. They're nice and wide in the toe area, but not enough ground feel in the soles for my liking. Their work shoes, the 9 to 5s, are super comfortable and a superb alternative to traditional semi-formal wear. However, compared to the Viva Barefoot Gobi 2s, they have less ground feel and are not made from real leather. So I'd still pay a little bit more and opt for the Vivos in this category. The woman on our team enjoyed the Chakas and the Chillums, but said that their pairs ran a bit large for their size. I didn't have this experience though, so perhaps it's a good idea to contact Lem's customer support for sizing advice. Overall, Lem's can serve as a great transition shoe for those just getting into barefoot style footwear and who are not yet ready for ultra slim soles. Wildlings are the next brand on our list. Their Nebula model tied in first place as the best shoe for bunions in a recent video of ours. The link to this video is down below in the description. Wildlings have lots of cool features, such as very wide toe boxes and slits in their soles for added flexibility through the mid and forefoot, as well as natural materials such as linen, canvas, cotton, merino wool, and even Japanese paper in the uppers. As an added bonus, because Wildlings are made in Germany, some of them, such as the North Wolf and Astron models, are made for cold climates. They're also pretty reasonably priced considering the high quality materials used in these shoes. The company also gave us a code for free shipping on all orders, which we'll include on the products we use page linked down below in the description, together with the links and discount codes to all the brands in this review. Overall, Wildlings get a thumbs up from us. Now, the other company that tied with Wildlings for top spot in our Bunyan video was Feel Grounds. These are good looking barefoot shoes with one of the best feeling soles of any barefoot shoes I've tested. Truly excellent barefoot feel. Feel Grounds have also recently widened their toe box, which makes them one of the best designed barefoot shoes on the market right now. But I wish they weren't plastic. Polyester shoes tend to hold bacteria and get stinky. Natural materials such as leather, linen, cotton, canvas, and hemp are preferable in this regard. So I hope Feel Grounds will experiment with some of these natural fibers in the future. Next up are Merrells, one of the oldest and most popular barefoot shoes on offer. The Merrell Vapor Glove Generation 1 was actually my first ever pair of barefoot shoes. I loved them. However, I can't say the same about the newer model, the Vapor Glove 5, as they are way too narrow for my feet. My first impressions of the Vapor Trails, another model in Merrell's catalog, is that they are not too great in the toe box area either. 
but so far the vapor moves are the ones I can tolerate from a tow box width perspective. However, compared to other popular barefoot shoes on this list, they are still between 0.5 and 1.5 centimeters narrower in the forefoot, so still not ideal for what I'm looking for. It's a pity since I like the overall look of the Merrells as well as their price point. But if you want a fuller review on this popular brand, let us know in the comments below. Now we move on to five fingers. They might not be beautiful, but their toe separations give the toes a natural splay during exercise, which is super helpful for improving toe alignment and ensuring that one gains the most amount of stability through the forefoot. And the hard wearing yet minimalist Vibram soles are good for everything one can throw at them. From a barefoot purist perspective, they're the epitome of what a barefoot shoe should be. I mean, they even look like feet. But you gotta get to know Five Fingers well to really appreciate them. They might feel uncomfortable at first because they give the foot so much freedom and no support. In other words, the feet need to be functional and strong enough to handle them. So if you get these shoes, take it slow in the beginning. We are also up for reviewing Five Fingers in greater depth. If this is something you guys wanna see, let us know. Okay, so the next brand on our list, the Splays, have replaced Vans, a shoe I wore for years because of their chilled, everyday, casual vibe at an affordable price. Unlike the Vans, Splays are foot shaped in the front with the widest toe box I've ever tested, coming in at 11 centimeters at the widest part. They are also zero drop and have really thin and flexible soles for enhanced ground feel. Furthermore, they are ultra affordable, especially with a 10% discount link you'll find down below in the description. Anyway, I can't get enough of these shoes. They are definitely Vans 2.0 in my book, and I feel they are solid recommendations for anyone looking for an all-round great casual barefoot shoe. Now onto the Fayus, which are also a brand I used to wear back in the days. I often wore them to the gym, with jeans, and basically whenever I could at the time. I love their soft and flexible soles, and at less than $50 US, I thought I'd found the one. But once I learned about true barefoot style shoes, I realized that Fayus didn't meet the criteria, despite popularly being called barefoot shoes. Their narrow toe box squishes the toes, and the inner sole of their newer models have cushioned heel lifts. Fond memories? but time to move on. Now, if you're after the most affordable barefoot shoes, then look no further than the Wittens and Segueros. Both brands are uber popular on Amazon for this reason. The Segueros were originally marketed as water shoes, but due to their foot-shaped design and flexible soles, they've now become popular as barefoot shoes that can be worn in both wet and dry conditions. The pair we tested has also performed well for road running. Wittens come in regular sneakers, which we've tried and found to be decent barefoot for shoes too. The toe box is nice and wide and the soles are plenty flexible. The only downside are that there is a bit of toe spring in the front which lifts the toes off the ground. As you'll know from our educational content, we need three points of ground contact through the foot to have maximum stability. Anyway, Wittens also have this funky rubberized sock. I call them shoe socks or shocks for short. I was excited about them at first, but I found them to be way too pointy and narrow in the front. Skinners have done a much better job at the shoe sock concept. Their first generation were also too narrow in the forefoot, but they have widened the toe box for generation two. Compared to any other barefoot shoe I've tried to date, Skinners give me the most amount of ground feel. Basically, if I stand on a coin while wearing them, I can tell you if it's heads or tails. But dad jokes aside, I really like the Skinners. At this moment in time, they are my preferred running shoe, sock, um, foot protector. I may need to put these things through various other tests to see what they are capable of. So if you want us to document that experience and make a video, let us know. The final brand we're going to cover, Carrots, make the first barefoot style dress shoe I've ever tested. These full grain leather formal shoes are much wider in the forefoot than traditional dress shoes, while still retaining the classic pointed shape that people want when they put on a suit. The carrots also have a fake heel, so despite appearing like they have a raised heel, the heel is actually hollow on the inside with zero heel to toe drop. Genius. The soles even allow for a nice amount of flexibility through the shoe, which is not found in traditional footwear of this kind. So overall, I'm impressed with the carrots. I now look forward to getting dressed up for formal occasions. And that concludes our Mega Barefoot Shoe review. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to take advantage of all the discounts we have on offer for these shoes through the link down below. Anyway, I'm your host, Chris, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. But until then, cheers.